Hey guys, it's Hunter. In this video, I'm going to be showing you 10 new model horses that I got. I was planning on doing a collection tour again, but I figured it'd be pointless because I posted one like a month ago. And I just got 10 new models, so I don't see why I need to show my whole collection. I mean, I added a new shelf there, like right here, for my Schleich models and reorganized it a bit better, but I said fuck it. So I'm just going to show you the models I got today. I'm not going to go into like grave detail because this video will end up being like 20 minutes long, which I don't want. So I'm just going to show you the models and then maybe add a few comments about them here and there and then move on with the next ones. So all of these models I ordered online except for two, which I didn't even plan on getting. I just went with my friends to a tack shop one day and well, not one day, like a couple days ago. And then I saw the, these two models here. So I decided to buy them. And fun fact, those two were actually the first models that I bought physically in a store since like six years ago. Like I haven't physically gone into a store, picked up a briar box, brought up to the counter, bought it, and then walked out of the store. So yeah, that, that was fun. Probably going to show you those two first and then just carry on with the rest of the models I got just to show you guys which ones I have. And then, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. By the way, one of the models in this video... I already made a previous video of, so if you have seen that already, you're gonna see him again. But if you haven't seen that, you're gonna see the model anyway, so yeah, just putting that out there. So the first model I got I'm gonna show you, which was one of the ones that I bought in the store, was Elska. Sorry if you can't see them very well. I originally didn't really want her at first, and I saw her online, and people were selling her for like $75. I only got mine for $54 new in box, so I don't know why people are trying to sell her for so much. It really annoys me when people try to sell models really expensive. It's just like, why would I want to pay $75 or more on top of shipping just to get that horse? I'd rather buy it in the store. She's also the smallest one I have in my collection, briar-wise. Um, now, the next horse I got, I'm not even going to try and say his name because I'm going to completely butcher it. So I'm just going to put it like down here, and it's this guy. When I bought him, I originally saw like no one on YouTube who had him in their collection and then I just so happened to stumble across a collection tour video and then someone happened to have him in their collection. I'm like, okay, that's the first person I've seen that has him in their collection. I'm not trying to say that he's like uber rare or anything like that. I just thought it was kind of cool that I didn't know that many people that had him. Now the next horses I'm going to show you, I got three of them together. So I'm going to show you this one first, which is mirrors. I don't have smoke, so it's probably dumb to have mirrors and not have the smoke and mirror set, but they were only selling just her. And I originally didn't know it was a mare. I thought it was a guy because I'm so used to seeing Goffer on this mold. Like, I don't know if it's the Goffer mold or not because I'm still new to Briar and I'm still trying to remember all the mold names, so give me a break here. But I always, every time I saw like this mold, the first thing I thought it was Goffer or However you pronounce it, I say golfer. I know people say it differently. Anyways, and I always just thought of, oh, golfer, I know he's a dude. So when I saw this one, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll get that one because I really want golfer and I don't have him. So I'm like, that's close enough. And then I watched a video and then they brought her into it. Like, I didn't even know. It was just another coincidence kind of thing. And I'm like, oh, she's a mare. Oh, well, I'll still get her because I still really want her and I like her and stuff. So... Yeah, I'm glad I got her. And a lot of these models were out of box, so they were like used but they're all in great condition now the other one i got with her is zenyatta which i'm glad i got her as well because i really like the lonesome glory mold so i really wanted a horse on this mold and when i saw her at first i didn't really want her and then the more i looked at pictures of her and when i saw her actually available for only 35 bucks i'm like i'm getting it and i'm glad i did the last horse I got with those two was the 2007 limited edition Akil Teke. I know a lot of people say Akil Tiki, I like to say Akil Teke. But yeah, he was also 35, so he was a really good price too. And like I said, I really like this mold, so I wanted more horses on this mold. I wasn't too sure if I was going to be big into conga ing models, but when I actually physically got this mold, I was like, hey, I actually really like it. So I actually have three on this mold. So it's my biggest conga so far. So if I were to conga a mold, it would probably be the Lonesome Glory mold, which I know like everyone congas, but I happened to order three horses on the same mold. So I'm like, okay, unintentional conga. I keep eating my hair. I need a haircut. But yeah, so that's him that I got with the other two. The next model I got, which completes that conga I was talking about, well not completes it, but like adds to the conga, which, which was my most expensive one, which was the Briarfest Kel Surprise model. I used to always say Quelle, 
And then when I go on YouTube and hear people talk about the surprise models, they say Kel. So I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna say that too so I don't sound like a retard. Yeah, I'm glad I got him. I wish he was cheaper, but if I passed up the opportunity to get him, I'd feel like I'd internally hate myself for the rest of my life. Now the next horse I got, I got this horse and another horse together. Goffert. So yeah, I did end up getting Goffert. Surprise, surprise. He was one of the other horses that I really, really wanted for a long time when I first found out about Briar. I'm glad I can add him to my collection. I don't know if a Konga counts if there's only two, but if there, if it does, then the Goffert and Mirrors makes my second biggest Konga. If that counts for me, it's, it's pretty good. And then the other model I got with him, which I was so glad I could get because I'm obsessed with this mold and this model, and I want more on this mold. And I know a lot of people don't particularly like him, which I don't understand because I'm in love with this horse, which is Huckleberry Bay. See, again, he was one of the model horses that I saw that I really, really wanted when I first saw Briar Horses. When I saw him and Goffer for sale, I'm like, I'm getting them, I don't care. Another one I really want is TS Black Tie Affair. And anytime I see him for sale, he's either extremely expensive, like 100 bucks if not more, or they're selling him and his stand's broken. Either they don't have the stand or the stand, like the peg, is broken in his hoof and this part's missing and they're still selling him for like 60 bucks. It's like, I'm not gonna buy him if he has a broken stand for that much. You know, that to me that's ridiculous. I almost forgot about this one and I got Southern Surprise, Southern Surprise, the uh, Missouri Foxtrotter mold. I think it's that's what it's called. Um, he is definitely used because he has some rubs here. He does have quite a few rubs on him, like on his nose and his hooves, and then obviously those black marks, which I don't know how to get off. So if you guys know how to get black marks off a model, please let me know so I can try it. But yeah, like I said, I almost forgot about this horse and I felt so bad because how could I forget a model, but I remembered. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but um, yeah, that's, that's this guy. And finally, the last model that I got, which isn't a briar, which is the one that I made the video of before, which is the Copper Fox model horse, Superman. He has a longer, actual, like, bigger name, but I can't pronounce it for the life of me. But yeah, he was the second most expensive horse that I got. When I did the video on him, I actually didn't look through, like, all the papers that they gave you until after I filmed it, because I didn't want to waste too much time going through them on camera. And I didn't actually realize that they give you this certificate, which I thought was really cool, and then it's signed at the bottom by, like, the founder of Copper Fox, and it has, like, the little Fox logo on the back, so I thought it was really cool. And I also didn't realize that all the models that they have on their website right now are, like, all limited edition models, and they only have 250 made of each model. So I'm actually even more glad that I got my hands on one because I got him while he was on sale, and they're going out of stock fast. But yeah, those are the models that I got, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm sorry if this video is kind of long. I tried to make it as short as possible, but I have a really bad habit of rambling on. Now, I figured I'd add this in this video if you guys want to cringe on how much I spent on all these models. If I think about it, it's a decent price for 10 horses. Like if it was for one or two horses, then it'd be kind of cringy, but it's still a pretty hefty number. So for all 10 horses together, I spent a little over <coughs> 700. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not buying any more model horses for a while. So that's why I decided to make this video to show all the new models I got. So my collection was updated and everyone knew what models I had. And I, I don't know, I, I really enjoy filming these videos. If you like these videos or like you like my videos in general, just give it a thumbs up so I know, so I can keep making more. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll get notified when I make more. Until the next video, keep collecting ponies. Don't blow $700 on them like I did. And uh, I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Hopefully I won't have blown any more money by then. <laughs> see you guys.